All good soldiers go to heaven, these army recruits are singing. The Sri Lankan military say that fewer these days will be making that journey. It's because of better training and equipment. This center is pouring out 350 soldiers every three months. They leave prepared for the front line. It's fast but intensive, and they benefit from battle-hardened instructors. How has the training improved for um, army recruits in the last 10 or 15 years? Uh, the instructors, through the experience that they have gained, uh, being soldiers in the actual battlefield, uh, they know uh, how to uh, merge the theory into the actual uh, battle situations. That can be seen in the conflict zones. These men are experienced frontline troops, well equipped and determined. They're being briefed as part of an operation to take a Tamil Tiger's strategic position. They head off towards an area known as Topigala, near Batakaloa in the east of the country. Jungle and hills, difficult fighting country. As hundreds of soldiers move into position, the softening up begins. Artillery gun holds now the guerrilla's positions day and night for 48 hours. Under cover of darkness, we went with the main body of the infantry as they moved forward. It's slow going, frequent stops. The men wary of the hit and run tactics of the Tamil Tigers, experts at guerrilla warfare. We're literally a few hundred meters away from Tamil Tiger positions, but the objective of this unit is not to engage them now. They need to go through the night two kilometers to the edge of the main control of Tamil Tigers, and then to call in artillery and tank strikes ready for the main thrust of the attack to begin at dawn. Less than 50 meters from the Tiger positions, and the infantry cleared a path through the minefield, ready for the final assault. Then suddenly, the Tigers launched an attack on our flank. Confusion and some panic. Hey, now come, this is. You all have to go now. You can come and bring you all now. Back. What? Just two minutes, two minutes, then they go. Two minutes. You all have to go back? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Down, down, down. We're pulling back now. Shankan Army's taking control of this area, but haven't managed to reach the bridge yet. The LTTE are starting to throw back fire. We're having to withdraw. An hour later, the main fight is over. The Army captured their target, a bridge along a supply road specially built by the Tigers. In a captured position, the only signs of the guerrillas' presence, bullet casings and flip-flops. Their bunker made up of sacks of rice donated by humanitarian organizations. How confident are your men now? They are very, very much confident, and they are in a high morale that they, they can, uh, they know that they can um, uh, clear this uh, uncleared area. That means this, uh, this, uh, the east, and to liberate these uh, innocent civilians. There is a newfound confidence within the officers and the troops who feel they are bringing about the closing chapter of this terrible conflict. What sort of damage are you inflicted on the LTTE in this area? I think if you calculate from uh, Mavilaru up to now, 90% had gone. Their capability has gone down to maybe 5%. The Tamil Tigers may be on the run in the east, but they are still strong in the north. And whatever the successes of the army, a political solution seems to be the only way to bring an end to this war.